Okay, hello everyone. So thank you for joining today, the um, uh, visiting lecture that we have uh, from Jump Story. I'm very happy that we have Georgi today with us. Um, so Jump Story is a Scandinavian startup. Uh, they just raised uh, 900,000 uh, euros to develop this platform of visual images. And we are very happy that we can collaborate with them. And then um, you guys as future graphic designers or web designers, or marketeers can get to see the benefits that they're using on their visual platform. Um, he will explain more about that. Uh, we also published an interview on our site, both in Kosovo and in Macedonia. I just want to say that the language that this presentation is going to be, it's going to be on English. Uh, so uh, because we also have uh, our colleagues from Kosovo, so it's actually like a joint webinar that we're doing today. And um, uh, I will unmute everybody. So at the end, if you have any questions for Georgi, you can ask, uh, you know, whoever has a question. Um, and uh, from my side, I'm very happy that we uh, collaborate with uh, companies such as Jump Story, which I believe has a lot of benefits for um, you as future graphic designers, as I said already. Um, and um, I really like uh, the idea behind Jump Story and uh, what, how they're using the artificial intelligence in order to select uh, the high impact uh, photos which uh, can be used. So, um, Anastasia, I'm just going to ask you either to move, mute yourself or yes, thank you. Um, and then um, I, I'm not going to waste more time, I'm just going to give the um, uh, the microphone, the virtual microphone to Georgi so he can explain more. And again, if you guys have any questions, please feel free um, to ask uh, him questions. I'm going to be muted myself. Um, Sophia, if you can mute yourself, please. Um, thank you. And um, that's all from my side. So Georgi, thank you again for being here today. And um, please, you can start with your presentation. Okay, hello everybody. Uh, it's a great opportunity. I'm happy that I'm doing this. Uh, <laughs> uh, we already heard quite a, a lot about Jump Story, but I will tell you even more. Uh, before I do that, I should tell you a bit about myself. Uh, I'm currently undergoing uh, my bachelor's degree in IBA uh, Business Academy uh, in Denmark Kolding. It is this beautiful building over here. It's brand new. They just built it in August. It's amazing. And they actually helped me get my job at uh, Jump Story. I started working at Jump Story this year and in the beginning of January. And uh, it's been nothing but good emotions and growth for me since then. Here on the right, you can see me uh, working. <laughs> I'm, I'm standing up in this photo because Half of the work day I uh, work standing up since it's much better for the health and for the lower back. I would recommend uh, you doing it as well because it's very uh, beneficial. Okay, so let's uh, learn a, a bit about the history of Jump Story. Jump Story is a startup and um, it was started in the summer of 2018 by two people, these two guys. The person on your right, is called uh, Anders Team. Both of them are Danish, by the way. And um, Anders is the CEO of the company. He has been, a, he's a marketing expert and he has been in the business for the last 10, 12 years. Uh, he's been working heavily with advertising, social media advertising, growth hacking, and uh, pretty much most of the work related to marketing. And the person on your left, Jonathan, is actually a bit famous. I'm going to tell you more about him. Uh, he's a serial entrepreneur. This is his third company right now. And uh, he used to be a keynote speaker, giving speeches all around the world, uh, meeting some very famous people. And he is even a best selling author of um, the book called uh, The Guru Book. And this book, he uh, spoke to one guy in particular, which is this pretty guy over here. This is Brian Chesky. He's the co-founder of Airbnb. I think you've uh, heard about him and the at least about the company. And um, once they launched Jump Story, Jonathan gave uh, a keynote speech in 2019 in Lithuania. And uh, we got a very positive response from this guy over here, which is uh, the founder of Shazam, Diraj Mukherjee. 
Um, as you can see, um, our company has um, been um, overseen by some quite incredible people. And uh, we know that it actually gives value to us because we have shown that we give we have uh, given something different to the market. We have been uh, mentioned several times as the Netflix of images. And uh, the main reason behind that is linked to um, our business model, which is uh, basically a, subs uh, a subscription method where you just pay month for month and you uh, get access to um, to content. In Netflix, you get access to, uh, of course, shows and movies, whereas in Jump Story, you get access to pictures, videos, illustrations, vectors, and icons. But the basic business model is the same. And since we've been doing such a good job, I guess that's why they um, link this to one of the best platforms there is. Okay, but what exactly is Jump Story and what do we offer? Well, we try to make, um, I mean, yes, our, the whole company from the beginning has been trying to give the uh, just a way to make work easier for marketeers, for people working in marketing. And um, that's why we offer a basic service, which is uh, uh, providing people with content like uh, pictures, videos, and uh, and uh, the rest. And uh, so far, we have around 20 million pictures in our platform. And uh, here are some basic examples of pictures that we have on our platform currently. Uh, we have around 50 to 500,000 videos, um, as well as uh, 5,000 vectors and 5,000 illustrations. I've given just one example. We have tons and tons. Uh, in particular, about those vectors, I know that you as graphic designers would use those a lot because it just makes your work a lot easier. So uh, I'm going to show you more about those on our platform later. Uh, and of course, we have around 100,000 icons, uh, which uh, we're working on uh, increasing since uh, they're the they're one of the least that we have so far. Um, one really important question, one real relevant question that I received from from Creative Hub about uh, us uh, was, what's different between us and between the leaders on the market? because uh, we are offering offering a service which uh, has already been present on the market for the last 20 maybe 25 years or more but um, i'm gonna uh, tell you how we're different than the others the biggest players on the market right now are iStock uh, by getty images and uh, shutterstock you've surely heard at least about one of them and uh they are still the leaders on the market. I think they uh, they have about 40% share of the, the whole market. But uh, we have several differences with them. And here's, and I'm going to start listing them right now. So something that we're offering on our platform is fast and relevant search results. Uh, those big platforms like as, as the iStock and Shutterstock are filled and filled with content there, there there's so much on there on there that uh it gets harder hard for some people to actually find what they're looking for because they have an abundance of a choice and that just makes makes the works harder and slower and uh we've optimized our platform in a way with a, an artificial intelligence search engine which finds finds not only the most relevant content but content that is authentic and that that would perform the best because for a marketer what's important is that the visuals that he uses for a certain campaign would uh, perform the best because that's how business works um, something really important that i want to talk about is uh, our license terms usually platforms like iStock and uh, Shutterstock have uh, offered different license terms depending on what content they're offering and it's very complex. Some people don't understand it. And we actually have a lot of clients who used to work either with Shutterstock or iStock and came to us because our license terms are much simpler than those of those two um, platforms. And uh, the license that we're using is uh, CC0. All of our content is CC0 licensed. And uh, it's highly beneficial for you guys 
to use content that is CC0 licensed because this means that you can use the content for whatever purpose you need with no limit on time. And uh, I, a couple of days ago, I actually spoke to one uh, person from Serbia who uh, wanted to use our services and he was like, okay, but there's there's free pl platforms like Unsplash and like Pixfuel who also offer pictures similar to yours, but they don't uh, charge anything for them. Yes, but there is a big difference between us and them for one uh, main purpose. Those platforms who are giving out free content recently started changing their licensing terms. They may be Creative Commons as the CC, the two C stand for, but uh, if they're not CC0, there means that they there are some differences, and you may you you know hopefully not, but you may get into trouble if uh, you've used content from such platforms which offer free content, and uh, uh, and something may go wrong because uh, an owner of one of those those pictures may uh, search for his rights. So CC0 gives you freedom and uh, you just don't have to worry about using pictures licensed CC0. Let's continue. Um, no stocky looking images. Now this is something very important. This is one of the main reasons why Jump Story was created in the first place. And um, it's linked to pictures like this. I think all of you have seen pictures like this with perfect people, with perfect smiles, eating cake, drinking coffee, they're laughing for some reason, unknown to anybody, but they're always laughing, something's always funny, and it just looks fake. And people have been tired of looking at pictures like this. At, at this point, this doesn't make a difference. You can just see this picture and then scroll down and you will you'll not even remember seeing this picture because it doesn't affect you in any way. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. And um, we're trying to get rid of we try, we're actually trying to leave those in the past and start offering only authentic pictures, pictures that would make a difference, pictures that would affect people in a positive way. So we have done our best not to include pictures like this in our platform. And uh, last but not least, <laughs> one big difference between us and our competitors is the price. Right now, uh, iStock charges $130 per month and they don't even offer uh, a full range of services. I think what they're offering is uh, 50 images per week, well, per month, sorry, for $130. And Shutterstock offers almost the same services for $170 per month, which is a, it's a lot of money, uh, in my opinion. I I personally would rather to, I would rather become a photographer and create my own co content and pay that much for pictures per month. And here here comes our price. We are charging twenty five dollars per month, and uh, usually we are offering uh, one month for free, where you can just browse and check what we're offering, if this would be relevant for you or not. And only after the first month do you actually start paying $25 per month. Uh, we have we uh, gave a different offer to Creative Hub when we got into contact with them, and I'm going to tell you a bit more about that later. Uh, but without further ado, uh, I would like to uh, continue and uh, show you a bit more about our platform, what our services are, what kind of tools we have actually. And uh, after I'm done, I would be happy to answer some of your questions if you have any. I have already prepared and I have opened Jump Story. This is the main page of Jump Story once you log in into your account. And uh, let's start with just finding uh, something simple. Okay, let's say cat. You open and immediately you can see you get. 370,000 results. As you can see, those are professional pictures, authentic, and all of those pictures can be used for whatever purpose you need. You can edit them, you can optimize them, you can do whatever you want in order to uh, help yourself and uh, your campaigns. Now, here is something that I want to uh, mention. Oh, we have two same pictures over here. 
this icon over here in the top right corner, this is called the high jumper. Icons like this have been placed on pictures as, as this one, uh, and uh, they're placed there for a specific reason. Our algorithm uh, checks which pictures perform the best and which pictures would um, generate the most traffic uh, for your campaign of whatever uh, advertising or whatever you're doing. It, either it's a blog or an article, you can use it for tons and tons of different purposes. Uh, and these high jumpers here are what would make a difference in your uh in your content in your campaign and one thing that i was actually wondering about was uh why uh aren't those high jumpers on the on the top of the page like if i if it were me i would just want to open the page and find those pictures immediately so i can use them since they work the best but if everybody used those pictures they would lose their value and uh they wouldn't be that relevant and they wouldn't perform that well anymore and uh, uh, some people would like to choose for their, for themselves. So that's why they are in sort of random places around the results. And uh, you can you can use uh, the one that you uh, find best. Um, as you can see, uh, for cat, we have a lot of re results and vectors. Uh, I have friends who are, gra I'm not personally a graphic designer, but I have friends who are graphic designers and they have, um, told me that they use vectors a lot because it saves them a lot of time. They can use those instead of doing their own work. Uh, so I think you could find vectors very beneficial for your work. Uh, as you can see, we have a lot of videos who are also free to use. Um, I don't know if you would find those relevant, but we offer them. So it's just part of the, of the whole package that uh, you would get. Uh, one feature that I find really impressive, and I think that you would uh, do as well, is, uh, let me just show you, is the, the tool which removes the background. And right here you can see the, this picture of the cat. And if you're trying to crop the background and use the cat, you would find it a bit hard to do it since uh, you can see the whiskers here and everything. But if you use our tool, remove background, you just press the button, you wait two to three seconds, and voila, you get the, the cat that is absolutely cropped. There's no background. You still have the whiskers all over here. And uh, the tool works impressively well. I can give you another example just to show you uh, how, how it actually uh, works. Oops, excuse me. Here is the cat. As you can see, there's uh, a lot of other objects around it, but once you press remove background, it knows what to work with. So immediately you get the cat cropped and you can you can just download the picture as it is and you can uh, paste it into the content that you want to um, use. Some pictures in our platform aren't that uh, of, of that high quality. Let's say Rec, for example something random uh as i said some pictures aren't of uh the best quality uh for example this one i guess so you can optimize uh your pictures so that uh they have a higher in a way a higher quality the colors are a bit better and uh they would perform a bit better than they would if you just use them as they are uh you can see a big difference but they have actually been optimized so it will never hurt to just uh, optimize the pictures if uh, if you want to do so. Uh, we also have uh, the tool called uh, editing, and um, I wouldn't actually see you using this tool because you are graphic designers. I I expect you to have professional uh, programs where you can use. Uh, this is a simple one. This is this is the one that smartphone actually have. You have the filters and. Um, you can of course uh, draw, act, crop the, the picture or whatever. Um, maybe you can find it relevant if you just want to, to quickly uh, ch uh, change the picture and uh, optimize it for your work. Um, if it, it's not gonna take that much time and it doesn't require uh, that advanced programs. So in such case, I guess you would find this relevant, but in case you don't, it's up to you whether you're gonna use it or not. Mm. Uh, I think that is basically 
our platform, guys. Uh, as I said, we have tried to uh, cons uh, to make it as simple as possible. And the main point of Jump Story is to save people time and to give them relevance. And I think that we have done we have done a really very good job so far. Uh, so I would be happy to answer any of your questions if you have such. Mm. Uh, thank you, Georgi, for your presentation. I want to now ask uh, anybody has any question that you guys want to ask about the platform or um, anything related? Nobody has a question? Uh, Georgi, was this everything you wanted to say or do you want to add something because... Um, uh, I think I covered all bases of everything that I want, wanted to mention and uh, that's why uh, I said if every, if anybody has any question and if uh, I can give clarity about some of our services or anything, I am open to do so. I think I have covered everything there is about our platform, so it is up to you guys now. Mario, um, I put you on unmute. Hello. Yes, yes, we hear you. Uh, I'm sorry, you might have mentioned this in the presentation, but is there a limit on uh, how many images or videos you can download? A uh, good question. I didn't mention it. You, there is no limit. You can download as many as you want. Uh, I had one task, by the way, one time during uh, my work that I had to download a lot of images from our platform. And uh, there is a, a limit for uh, daily downloads you can do, which is 250 images. That's per day. Uh, I don't think you would need that much content ever, but in case you do, that is the limit. Otherwise, you can use as much of the content as you want. There's no restrictions and um, you wouldn't have any problem with the content you have used. So to put it simply, no, you can download as much as you want. Thank you. You're welcome. And. Uh... I also have a question about uh, who submits the images. Uh, how does how do they appear on the website? Um, we have we have an automated system, uh, and we use um, some known and some not so very known platforms who uh, which uh, have pictures who are licensed under CC zero. So it's sort of like a collaboration, and uh, the whole the service here the service part from from our company comes that we all only pick those pictures who are of high the highest quality who are authentic who are licensed under cc0 of course and uh who don't which don't look stock in any way because uh i showed you the example there's tons and tons of pictures like that so we're just trying to avoid that Anybody has any other question? Thank you, Sofia, for your questions.
Okay, I think nobody has a question. So okay. um, yeah, so okay. Georgie, thank you for for today. You know, for your presentation, I really appreciate uh, what you did. You know, for us today. Um, so I do thank you for your time that you take to make the presentation and to explain us. I also uh, find it very interesting uh, how you were explaining the beginning and everything uh, with uh, the connections of your co-founders. So uh, I appreciate for uh, for everything That's and. Well. Uh, Yes, so I uh, hope this will be the start to, of collaboration. Yes. I just wanted to add one more thing. Uh, since uh, I got into contact with you and uh, I, I offered you um, a, a free uh, subscription for the next three months, I would also want to offer it to all of the students if they want to try out the platform. They would have three months of free access to all of our services and um they won't be charged unless they want to continue using the platform after the three months that's totally up to them uh if i don't know if they're interested but if they're interested i can give you the um, the details right now and um you know what to do afterwards i think everybody would be interested you know because everybody um anyhow works with images all the time so i do thank you you know for uh, for this opportunity so you can either, uh, I mean, give them the details now, or you can send me by email, and I can forward however you want. Uh, okay. But I think it would yes. be easier if I just send them to you and you forward them, because in that way everybody would have clear instructions. Sure, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Perfect. Um. Okay. Uh, if, if that was it, it was an honor. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for listening, guys. I hope uh, I gave you enough information and, and I hope this can be of uh, help to you and your work. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much.